VSW Hill. W's WWE Reactions. Survivor Series, CM Punk made his triumphant return to the WWE. And now tonight on Monday Night Raw, CM Punk makes his decision. Will he sign with Monday Night Raw, NXT, or Friday Night SmackDown? Let's find out. And I'm going to work out while CM Punk talks because I'm looking to become a WWE superstar one day. And how awesome would this be? CM Punk versus VSW. How awesome would that match be? CM Punk and I would tear the house down. Or maybe CM Punk and I could team up. What would be a good name for us? Let me know down in the comments. I walk back here through the hallways. There's a lot of ghosts, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm doing my best to face them head on. A lot of people might not know this, but I debuted in this building. Yeah, was anybody there? I hit Mickey James on my arm. True story. We walked down that ramp, we got into this ring, and it was so good. I went back and they said, we're sending you to Louisville, Kentucky. Have fun at OVW. And gosh, I didn't want to go. But while I was there, I embraced being uncomfortable and I learned how to love it. Exactly like when I came to the WWE for the first time, and I didn't know what I was in for, but I embraced being uncomfortable and I learned to love it. I triumphantly returned to this town, this same building, World Heavyweight Champion. I was ready to put on a show for everybody here. And then Randy Orton kicks me in the head backstage. Daddy's and back. And, they tell me and he signed with Friday Night SmackDown. To Looking to get revenge? On the bloodline. No the champion. And I was like, Cleveland! O-H-I-O. Was anybody here 10 years ago for the story that I'm about to tell? I'm not going to bore you with details because a lot of it is in my review mirror. I'm focused on the future. I'm focused on the now. I'm focused on everybody here in this building today. <sighs> Ten years ago, I had to take myself off the hamster wheel. I had to, for better or for worse, make the hardest decision of my life. And I don't regret it. I don't look back. But there was always that part of me that wondered, if anybody paid to see CM Punk that day, I walked out of Cleveland. If they were disappointed, backstage, I saw a young lady by the name of Indy, and she told me that she felt betrayed as a little kid. And I told her a story. When I saw Roddy Roddy Piper appear on WCW television, and as a young wrestling fan, I felt the exact same way. So I understood. So if you're here now, if you're watching at home, and you're disappointed that CM Punk walked out, I understand. And hell, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. Apology accepted, Punk. SmackDown and I listened to what Nick Aldis has to say. He put together a very substantial offer. You understand. I went down to NXT. I hung out with Shawn Michaels and there's a 15 year old yep. CM Punk somewhere. In the CM Europe. Punk made an appearance tickled to death. at NXT Deadline. Talked with the Heartbreak Shawn Kid Shawn Michaels and backstage. It's a great deal. He 
He talked to the returning Cora Jane. And there's Adam Pierce in the ring with the Monday Night Raw contract. Can I, be, can I be very real and very honest with you folks right now? My mind was probably already made up when I looked at the calendar and I saw Cleveland. I'm here to bury those ghosts. I'm here to right a few wrongs. My future starts now. You couldn't write a better television show, ladies and gentlemen. Ten years, almost to the day, CM Punk walked out. And regardless of how you feel about it, CM Punk walks right back in. Yeah. And if you're happy about it, if you're mad about it, you better learn to love it. Because congratulations, Adam Pierce. It is official. CM Punk has joined the Monday Night Raw roster. Awesome. Drew McIntyre says that he doesn't want CM Punk on Raw. Well, guess what? Too bad. The best in the world is now officially part of Monday Night Raw. And oh, oh. Here comes the World Heavyweight Champion, the one person who hasn't welcomed him back with open arms. A visionary, revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins. And listen as Cleveland, Ohio sings his song. Seth freaking Rollins is here. And he is about to confront the newest member of the Monday Night Raw roster, the best in the world, C.M. Punk. <clears throat> C.M. Punk signing with Monday Night Raw makes perfect sense. Because now he and Seth freaking Rollins can go at it. Because CM Punk and Seth freaking Rollins, they don't like each other at all. I don't think they ever will like each other. But CM Punk versus Seth freaking Rollins. I can't wait to see these two go at it. Seth freaking Rollins and CM Punk staring each other down. Can't wait to see these two go at it. It's going to be awesome. Seth freaking Rollins calling for a mic. Because Seth freaking Rollins, he was not happy to see CM Punk back in the WWE. CM Punk returned in Survivor Series. Seth freaking Rollins flipped him off. How incredibly fortunate you are to even be standing in this ring right now. But could you just do me just one, one little favor, just one thing? 
one thing, please. Don't you dare call this place your home. you abandoned it, but you actively tried to tear it down. You spent 10 years slandering me, slandering every single person back in that locker room, and then you want to walk back in here and call this place your home? This is not your home. This is my home. Seth freaking Rollins doesn't like CM Punk at all. Let me make one thing perfectly clear. I don't want there to be any confusion. I know I'm a bit worked up. I want everybody to understand I'm going to say it plainly with every fiber in my being. I hate you. Of course you do. to be a part of WWE again, then I want you on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Which granted. Because the truth always comes out, pal. The truth always comes out. I know, you know, everybody else knows. This is your last chance. And so, one of two things <coughs> is going to happen. Either you're going to expose yourself, you're going to self-destruct like you always do, and I'll be the first person in the back to slam the door shut on your legacy. Or if by some miracle you have changed. And you've got any gas left in this old tank? Maybe one day you'll be lucky enough to stand across the ring from me in a World Heavyweight Championship match. And then I will expose you for the fraud that you are. I will show you that there are levels to this. I will wrestle circles around you, and I will let you understand in real time what it means to be the best in the world. Are you done? That's your one pass to stand here and speak to me disrespectfully without me coming after you. I have never asked for anything to be handed to me, and I've always done things stubbornly the hard way, 
and I'm here to do that. Adam Pierce, where are you at? Oh. We're making things official. We might as well make it official. Oh. CM Punk is entering the Royal Rumble. Hey, 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 hey. It is official. And when CM Punk wins, maybe, Seth, it's you he's coming after. CM Punk has declared for the 2024 Royal Rumble. And if he wins, we could finally see him main event WrestleMania, probably with Seth freaking Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. Can't wait. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button too. And tap the notification bell so you'll always know when I upload a video. And finally, share it with all your wrestling buddies. Because this is VSWville and everyone's invited. Also, be sure to spread some love, happiness, kindness, positivity, and peace all over the world every single day. Because those five beautiful things does us and this world a whole lot of good. Peace.